Hello, welcome back. Welcome back to another low buy update. Today I'm going to be talking through what I purchased in the month of May. So it's now June, which means this is my last month that I'm doing of my half year low buy. I have decided I probably won't continue it beyond this month, despite knowing that actually we do sort of have a, um, a loose date for when our renovation is going to begin. So I think by August or sometime in August, we should have work beginning on the house, which is very exciting and I can't wait to sort of share that journey with you all. Um, I will be vlogging the process. You can see the whole construction of the first floor addition that we're doing and then also the work that we're going to do downstairs. Uh, but I have to say it very much is a long drawn out process. So I think I might talk about that when I do my first video uh, as part of that renovation series. So um, in terms of the month of May, I kind of feel like it went by very quickly, but also really slowly at the same time. We had my husband's parents visiting, which was just such a joy honestly after not being able to see them for over two years last time we saw them was when our son was born so it was nice for them to come when our daughter was born and get to spend time with both of them and uh, i'm gonna get so emotional but Honestly, it's just so magical to be able to see them interacting with both of the kids and knowing how much they really enjoyed that special time. And we're looking forward to seeing them again later this year when my sister gets married. So that'll be really cool um, to have them back over then. But what else do I do in the month of May that sort of gave me joy? Um, oh, I have been listening to the audiobook of Murakami's 1Q84, which I love. I finished book one in the month of April, and I'm probably about halfway through book two. Um, it's sort of taking me a little bit longer, but also I think it's because I did start watching a couple of TV series. So I started watching The Wilds on Amazon Prime, which I finished season two now. And we also started watching Severance on Apple TV, which I really, really like. We just haven't had a chance to get too far through it so if you have watched it please no spoilers <laughs> um other things i think just being able to go for a little walk when it's been nice we've been blessed with absolutely stunning weather you wouldn't think that it is winter it is so nice outside um, on the day that i'm filming this anyway i think we're gonna have a little bit more rain but um to think that I managed to make it the entirety of autumn without wearing a wool coat is just beyond. Uh, I did wear sort of like light jackets, a little denim jacket, and then I have these longer sort of trench style jackets, which I maybe wore two or three times. But for the most part, I was able to get by with knitwear or even just a t-shirt some days when it was really warm. So one of the benefits of living in Sydney, Australia, we have such a mild climate. So if you ever wonder why my winter videos are so skewed towards slightly lighter layers, that is why. Um, so maybe I should just talk about what I purchased this month. I think this month I might also just share a couple of other things that I've really been enjoying which aren't related to purchases that I've made. So uh, I bought one thing this month uh, and it was a pair of earrings. Um, you may have seen, I did a little unboxing over on TikTok. I'm very sporadically uploading videos there if you want to go and see. Uh, the whole idea was that I was going to try and do daily outfits but it's impossible with a toddler and a newborn, honestly. Uh, she's strapped to my chest half the time, so uh, very difficult to kind of show an outfit that way. But I did make a purchase. Uh, I bought these from Matches, and I will say, when I'm buying something like this that's more costume jewelry or actually just any big purchase in general, I try and buy it when there is a sale on. Uh, and I've kind of started to notice there's a running theme with when I decide to buy. And generally it's if I can get a discount. So I will always wait. And I think that's one of the benefits of waiting at least 30 days is that one, you're sure that you want the item. And usually at the end of that time period, you'll find that quite often the item's gone on sale or even if you wait you know three weeks and then at that point it's gone on sale it's always I feel like you're making a much more conscious and intentional purchase so uh, let me just show you what I bought and I will actually do a close-up this time I haven't done these throughout any of these low buy videos but I will show you a close-up I bought these uh, ear cuffs so I really wanted to get something that was a little bit more unusual that I didn't already have in my existing jewelry collection and that would really uh, be a little bit more of a statement. So 
but they kind of just sit there in your ear really nice and comfortable and I love the fact that these look very aged and antique they're really unusual unlike anything that I have uh, so sort of a unique piece in my personal jewelry collection I like the mix of the gems and the fact that they are different sizes the actual ear cuff itself has this very organic shape it's not smooth edges it has little uh, dents and things in it which I think adds to the charm and that was what really drew me to them and I was thrilled when I saw they went in the sale because I'd had my eye on them for a while so that was what I decided to purchase this month um, I did actually also buy uh, a couple of other things which I ended up returning so the first thing that I bought was a dress from Christopher Esber which I'd had my eye on for months and the appeal for me behind this dress I'll put a picture on screen was that I felt like it was really versatile and could be worn a few different ways so it has a uh, top sleeves and skirt and they're all detachable with little buttons so you can actually uh, if you wanted to you can have a cutout effect by having a few buttons open uh, and I had thought that I might be able to wear the skirt maybe almost uh, a little bit lower and then have the top like a crop uh, whether I had it long sleeves or if I took the sleeves off maybe have one sleeve on one sleeve off I, I like that versatility and the options there and the fact that you could really customize the way that it looked on you and yeah that was that was the thing that really drew me to this dress uh, it also is in that ribbed material which I find really flattering and also really easy one to kind of just throw on I sized I, I bought two sizes I bought the six and the eight and I tried on the six and that one actually fit me really well however I found it didn't really do much for me uh, the fabric was a lot heavier than I'd anticipated it's a really really heavy weight ribbed knit which is beautiful if that's what you're after um, I did actually also purchase this during the sale so I was able to get it within my budget because it was out of my budget at full price um, I did get the black one but the white one's really nice as well um, I like the fact the top had a little cutout at the back as well actually um, but when I did unbutton the skirt fully, I found that it just didn't sit right on my waist. It kind of sat too low down despite me getting the six when I am very much true size eight. Uh, and yeah, I, I didn't really feel good in it. I also felt like the neckline and the way the dress sort of fit around my bust wasn't really doing me any favors. So for that reason, I decided to return it. I also bought a shirt from Assembly Label. And one of the things that I sort of realized from this video I did with uh, a Farfetch integration, I'm gonna link it up here in the cards, was that I have a bit of a type when it comes to shopping for my wardrobe. And I really wanted to burst out of that little bubble and sort of experiment a little bit more, especially with color, because I, I do wanna inject a little bit more color into my closet this year. So I purchased <laughs> a shirt, it's sort of a oversized, very kind of easy breezy sort of a shirt, very much in line with the types of things I like to wear in this beautiful desaturated sage green. At least it was green with a gray undertone to it. And I thought it would effortlessly slot into my wardrobe from a color perspective. I also thought it would be a nice way to add in some softer green elements to my wardrobe. However, again, the fit was just not right for me. It was a lot longer than I had intended or I had hoped. So if you are petite, I'm 100 172 centimeters tall just for height reference then it would essentially be a shirt dress on you honestly it's very very long um, and I just found it was just a bit too much fabric even if I wanted to tuck it in it was just gonna be too much bulk around my torso my midsection so it wasn't right I think when you are adding fewer items to your wardrobe you end up being a lot pickier and a lot more particular about the details and yeah fit is really something that does matter to me a lot and very much much, um, I think evident by that now um, yeah so that was kind of what I bought and what I had tried to add to my wardrobe this month um, I do have two other things that I thought that I would just mention so I'm gonna grab them quickly BRB okay I'm back so first thing I want to talk about is a lip product it's from Laura Mercier and this is one of their lip glacé I think is how you pronounce it it's essentially a lip gloss slash lip balm hybrid I have it in the shade baby doll and this is what the bottle looks like uh, it's what I'm wearing today I really like these as a way to add a little bit of color to my lips but also to add a really nice element of shine um, they're really comfortable to wear and I actually find them really nourishing too which is definitely something I look for in my lip products because I have found particularly with nursing that I do get really really dry lips so that was the first thing that I wanted to mention and this was 
both these items were actually sent to me in PR for full disclosure. So there was that. And then the other thing I wanted to talk about, I shared in a recent video and I said how much I love it. And honestly, my love for this piece is continuing to go strong. Um, it was something that I had eyed up last year around the Black Friday sales, but I opted to purchase another item over this one. So I kind of always intended to potentially purchase it and see how it how it stood up to another cardigan that I own. It's from Jenny Kane and it is this beautiful uh, cashmere cocoon cardigan. I will do a little cutaway so you can see how this fits on. This color is called Russet. It is just so beautifully, lusciously soft. Uh, it feels really, really high end, really premium. Um, it's very similar to a cashmere cardigan I have from a brand called To Sir With Love, which used to be stocked at Karen Walker many, many moons ago. Um, and that full, full retail price retailed for $1,200, I think, and this was 15 years ago. So if that gives you a sense of where it kind of would sit on the luxury scale, um, I would say it would be up there with brands like K today so um, really really beautiful quality I've got it tucked away in storage right now and I'm really missing that item in my closet and this is very very similar it's not as thick in terms of how um, I suppose the ply of the cashmere however it is just as soft and it has that same silhouette I think it just doesn't have the pockets and it might be ever so slightly shorter I will put a photo of the two sir with love one up on the screen so you can see um, but yeah it's just a really beautiful cardigan and if you have had your eye on this I can 100% vouch for the quality. I have been reaching for this almost daily because it goes with everything. It's a really nice, easy neutral. Uh, and I do like the fact that it's a little bit darker as well in terms of all of those light OT colors that I tend to go for. Um, and yeah, it, it, I haven't actually had any issues with pilling so far, or actually maybe a little bit of rubbing here on the back, but nothing major despite the fact that I've definitely worn this probably 10 to 15 times so far. So um, I was really thrilled actually when they, they said they wanted to give me one of these cardigans. So yeah, that was the other item that I wanted to mention. I have it in a size small and I do have a discount code for Jenny Kane. I'll put it on screen. This is not sponsored. Um, but one thing I have been trying to do a lot because as I said, I really love being able to purchase things on discount is getting discount codes, which I can share with you in case you've had your eye on any items from particular brands that I feature a lot. So I'm going to start including those in the description box all the time. So you can just have a little peek down there um, to see what discounts I can share with you at this time. If there's been a lot of stop starts, it's because our neighbors on both sides decided to uh, start mowing their lawns at the very time that I wanted to film. So I'm going to wrap things up here. I did want to say I feel like my low buy has been going really well and I'm feeling really good about it and feeling really good about sort of my intentions towards how I add to my closet for the rest of the year. Though I do want to start doing some brand reviews from July. So if you have any brands you would like to see me talk about, maybe leave those down in the description box below. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, for spending some of your day with me. Um, I would love to know how your low buy or no buy has been going if you were doing one or the other. But yeah, um, I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you very soon. Bye.